Welcome to technology, everyone. For some reason, showing you that display of all the different MIDI effects um, causes the audio to cut out. So we, we won't be doing that again, will we? Um, so just real quick here, here are some of the, uh, the MIDI effects. Uh, these are all non-destructive effects, meaning that MIDI is processed through them uh, in ways that are, are different from what's actually going on in your track. For instance, uh, here's the transposer. And um, all this does is non-destructively um, change the pitch of, of notes. And I, I'll just show you real quick here. Not that any of you don't know what transposing is, but... Um, okay, so here we go. So there are some notes and if I use this MIDI effects transposer and I go up, let's say a half step. So that's all it does. But the important thing, and the reason I'm showing you this is because the actual notes in your track, in your MIDI region are not going to change. Oh, by the way, the, the Euro rack, those, those are my new, my new super long cases. Um, and, and they smell like fresh stain. It's, it's great. So if I seem a little loopy, maybe it's because of the, the fumes from the stain. Um, anyway, so these are non-destructive effects. And you can see it doesn't matter where I move this slider. It's not going to change what goes on in your track. Um, another thing that's important about all of the MIDI effects, including the scripter, is that you can't record the output of the scripter or the MIDI effects. So they are real-time live MIDI processors. And uh, this, is, this is a really important thing to keep in mind. The output of MIDI effects or the scripter cannot actually be recorded. Um, let's, let's go right to the scripter for a second. Um, let me get one up here. Okay. So this is the lovely scripter. It def definitely does not have the kind of sexy interfaces that the uh, other MIDI effects have, but uh, their usefulness trumps that, pardon the expression, <clears throat> Trump. So, um, right, the scripter, uh, just like any other MIDI effect, will receive MIDI from either a region. Oh, I had, here we go. Uh, from a region, let me just put this up here. Right, so it'll take uh, MIDI from a region or it'll take MIDI from your live playing, that high-tech box there it represents your keyboard, right? So whatever is funneling into the scripter is going to be processed in real time. And then the output of the scripter makes its way directly to the plugin. And this is why the output of a script or any MIDI effect can't be recorded because the the MIDI output path is from scripter directly to the plugin. Okay. Um, the scripter interface, uh, graphic user interface or GUI, um, has one button that's always there and it's the open script in editor button. And when you click it, you get this window. And this is uh, a two-part window. Uh, the top part is where the code is written. And the bottom part shows you uh, system messages. Uh, as you can see here, it says, in fact, let me make this a little bigger. OK, hopefully that's a little bigger and everyone can see. If, if this text is too small for anyone to read, um, let me know in the chat. And I'll make the, uh, the screen even larger. So. Again, it's a two-part window. Um, you can change the size. The top part is where you write the code. The bottom part shows you system messages and can also act as a MIDI monitor. Um, as you can see here, it says here, creating a new MIDI engine with script, uh, evaluating MIDI processing script, script evaluated successfully. All right, this is a message generated by the script saying that it's looked at this code and it, it approves, it likes it, okay? Uh, there are no errors. I'm gonna introduce a, an error here, and then I'm gonna click Run Script, and you can see here, it. we've got 
this is so classic, right? Syntax error. But syntax, and by the way, I'm not going to use a lot of like technical terminology here because I think it just gets in the way. But there are certain key terms that are important, such as syntax error. Um, the grammar of how JavaScript is written, there are rules. And if those rules are broken, like I just did, um, by breaking the name of this, this function thing, it will say exception syntax error. Uh, what you, you never want to see that when you click the run script button, which is the way to activate your script. What actually happens is the scripter looks at all your code, evaluates it. And if it's cool, it says here script evaluated successfully. And I just call this the success confirmation message. And that's what you always want to see. Um, after you've written some code, clicked on the run script button, uh, you want to see that message. Um, another thing that the bottom part of the window does is it's, it can serve as a MIDI monitor. So here I am just playing some notes and you can see that it's showing you that the notes, we have two kinds of note messages. There's the note on message, which is what happens when you play a note and the note off message, which is what happens when you release a note. And every note has a channel and pitch and velocity value. And these are referred to as properties of note messages. There are other kinds of, of messages like control change messages like mod wheel. Right now I am moving the mod wheel and you can see that um, it says control change, the channel, the number of the control, mod wheel being one, and the value, which is the position of the mod wheel at, at every increment. Here's a sustain pedal. I'm hitting my sustain pedal here. And as you can see, it actually tells you that it's a sustain pedal. And again, from uh, left to right, it's control change message, the channel, the CC number, and then the value. And for a pedal, it's only going to uh, switch between zero and 127. So that's the MIDI monitor aspect of the scripter. But here's the thing, the scripter won't do this all by itself. The scripter has to be told to um, detect MIDI. And it also has to be told to either output MIDI or to display stuff in here. This stuff doesn't happen automatically. Um, the keys to the kingdom to getting a script to receive MIDI, handle it, and send it out is all contained. Let me get rid of this stuff for a second. It's all contained right here. So this is, if you've never written JavaScript code, by the way, this is JavaScript. Did I fail to mention that? 